Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're here for The Eminence in Shadow, Season 2, Episode 2. Last episode, we uh, saw Sid get dragged to the lawless city with Claire as he was going to investigate this red moon. He told none of the um, shades to come with him. Now we're here. We saw last episode this, like, fox lady and this, like, I don't even know what to describe him as, brawler guy. We're fighting and then Sid flew down from the sky as the eminence in shadow. And then he was also repeating that one girl's quotes over and over and over. The frenzy has begun and all the other garbage that he just kept spewing. Ah, uh, the first episode was so good. So, um, I don't know where we're gonna go from here. I have no idea where this arc is gonna take us. Uh, but I have been told this arc will not take up the whole season, which is very interesting. I had a feeling this whole season was, whole season was gonna involve this arc. But, uh, that is evidently not the case. So, uh, oh, we also thought, we also saw the power scaling guy who, um, ranks people by their power and, uh, Quentin, I believe his name was, got captured and we're trying to be sold as like, I think it was like slaves or something crazy like that. It's just, the whole last episode was hilarious, genuinely hilarious. So I think without further ado, let's hop straight into, um, episode two. Who's that? Who is this guy? Oh, it's this guy. It's the guy we saw in the first episode. Who got his arm cut off. Yeah, it's this guy. No, Quentin! They're trying to escape. And this guy's just tearing him up. Juggernaut, that was his name. That's right. I'd forgotten about him. And there's this insane chick, too. Yukime. So we've got Juggernaut and Yukime. And they were fighting it out before Sid just dropped in. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh my god. So she knows about him. They both know about him. Look at how easily they broke in. <laughs> I like how they're just like, you know, let's just go our separate ways. We'll figure this out later. I'll kill, I'll kill you another time. Right now we got these ghouls to deal with. Oh my god, Sid is still repeating the same thing over and over. <laughs> I love how they're just being so casual with Sid here. Wait, what did he say? Those, br those bats will finally start to give me a decent- Oh, Jesus. Okay, this guy is also very strong. <laughs> well, we've got Yukime as a ally now. Oh yeah, all three of the people here are easily problems. And we just get to watch this dude hiding up here. Because <laughs> he's hiding it. He's hiding every ounce of his power. You're a damned idiot to go after Sid. Damned idiot. <laughs> he cut off his other arm! <laughs> of all the places Sid could attack. Of all the places... He cut off his other arm! <laughs> oh, he also cut off something else. I didn't see that in the frame before. <laughs> I didn't see that. I thought he just cut off his arm just to f*** with him, because he's already missing one arm, but no. He just cut him in half. Is he about to spew the same line again? Oh my god! <laughs> oh! He actually, he actually cannot get over the fact that somebody else was a Chunibio besides himself. Like, he cannot get over the fact that that vampire hunter lady, I think her, she said her name was like Mar Maria, something along those lines. Um, he can't get over that she was saying the same, like, Chuni type lines that he would say. He can't have that happening, so he's gotta repeat her lines at least, like, ten times. He's already done it, like, four or five in the past episode and a half. What are the actual... <laughs> What is she reading now? Um, hello? <laughs> Claire and Maria here. How does- how does Beta always gets mi- I swear I just pressed pause. How does Beta always get mixed up in these situations? I swear. I don't know how Beta always finds herself in these situations. Before she was with Alexia and Rose, before that group fell apart. And now she's getting tossed into this group with Maria here and Claire. <laughs> Supposed to eliminate all witnesses. Yeah, you can. You can't exactly kill. Even though, even though most of them don't seem- I don't think they like Claire very much. Well, no. No, it's not Claire they hate. No, 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 no. No, they don't like Alexia. That's who it was. Sorry. I'm getting the- I got 
mixed up there for a second. They don't like Alexia. Most of the shades don't like Alexia because she is she has a crush on Sid. Claire, I don't think they have any problems with, but yeah, no, they she she, she can't fight Claire because even though Sid has really I don't I highly doubt at this stage Sid would care if they killed Claire. Like I really don't think he would care, but they don't know that. To them, Claire is his actual sister. He, they have no idea if he actually cares for her or not. So, she can't risk killing him and then earning the wrath of Shadow, although I don't think he would truthfully I don't think he would care. <laughs> <laughs> of course they're gonna know her, know her. She totally doesn't have any relation to your brother at all. Totally not. She just knows you from the Bushin Festival, for sure. That's where she knows you from. Yeah, there's a lot of them here. <laughs> Rose! They got Rose here! Oh, wow. So they've got Rose going out on missions now. Really? Interesting. So if you trace it back far enough, possessed and vampires are the same. Hmm. Thousand year old rumor. Is she of- wait, what? <laughs> so lost. Hang on. Thousand year old Miss Ancient Vampire Hunter. So she's been around for a thousand years? Is that actually the case? If so, that's wild. And she doesn't deny it here. She says, you know me too, which means there's some truth to her statement. Oh, they're all just ignoring them and reading the books. Mary, that, oh God. I was calling her Maria for the whole first like 12 minutes of the video. Forgive me guys, forgive me. <laughs> Ooh, Rose. Ooh, ooh, Rose was intrigued by that. I wonder what she's gonna do in this arc. Cause I mean, I don't think in that picture right there, I don't think she's in it. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't see it very well, truth be told, on my OBS over here. But um, I don't know if she's actually gonna be involved in this arc or not. But if she is, I, I'm all the I'm all the happy to see her uh, go off as a shade now. <laughs> yeah. Better get shut up real quick. What in the world? What is up with her? So there's absolutely something about her we don't know. <laughs> They're just feeding each other over here? That's right! That's right! Rose doesn't know that Sid is Shadow. Rose the only... I'm pretty certain that only the main seven know that Sid is Shadow. I'm pretty certain only that main seven. Well, no, no, that can't be true because we saw in an episode last season when Sid visited Delta at her, at her like supermarket or whatever the building was, all of, he walked in front of a ton of, um, Shadow Garden. Like he walked in front of a ton of them and... That means they obviously know that Sid is Shadow because he was he wasn't in like his shadow gear, he was just in like his regular clothes dressed up as Sid. So it's interesting that she doesn't seem to know this yet. Because from that reaction, she very clearly doesn't understand that Shadow is not Sid. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> she does not want to deal with them. Ooh. God damn. So vampires don't die from cutting off their heads. You have to stab them in the heart. Interesting. She also has like some... Is, is she a vampire herself? I feel like she is. She's gotta be a vampire, right? She literally has... Her, she made a sword out of blood. Like that seems like something a vamp... Uh, an ability a vampire would have. Some kind of like blood art or something. That's suspicious. Does she actually... Wait, is she... You don't look like an elf, but they've talked about you for a thousand... Okay, she's better get cut off here, so I'll see what happens. Oh, 
Why do I feel like, okay, sorry, a lot just got dumped on us there. Why do I think that she wants to become or was the previous vampire queen? That makes sense, right? They haven't had a vampire queen in a while. They're looking for a new one. Doesn't it make perfect sense? She's got the red hair. Uh, the other guy that we saw, the king, uh, that we saw a little bit in this episode and some of last episode... He also has this deep red hair. Where's to say she didn't like leave somewhere along the line and drop her duties of becoming queen? And that's why Beta was saying, do you not want to wish to see Haven again? In a way like, do you not want to be the queen again? Um, I think that there's a possible connection there, possibly. And then moving on to what she said about Claire, talking about the possessed. Because I know if we're, if we're speaking about possessed... The main seven shades of Shadow Garden, like Alpha, Beta, all them, they were possessed at one point, right? That's when they were like those amalgamations or whatever, when he first uh, healed uh, Alpha in like the first episode. They were, that's what being possessed means, right? You turn into like these like almost demon kind of things. And I'm pretty sure the reason that they kidnapped Claire in like, I don't remember what episode it was. It was like episode, one of the first episodes, two or three where they kidnapped Claire, uh, I'm pretty sure the reason they kidnapped her is for, was they wanted her blood? Maybe, maybe I'm getting um, the Alexia event mixed up, because I know they had also kidnapped Alexia for her blood, but I think it might have been different with Claire, because she was a possessed? Maybe I'm getting that wrong, or maybe, I, I don't know. I could be totally off base, but I think what she's saying there is the reason they kidnapped Claire was because she was possessed, in the same way that they kidnapped Alpha, Beta, and all of them from their homes when they were children. They also kidnapped Claire because she was also in the same vein as them, one of these possessed that they're talking about. Maybe it's something like that. Who the hell is that? Okay, well, it was a vampire. Damn, they are mopping the floor with these vampires, Jesus. Yeah, they are handling them too easily, I feel. Like, all these vampires stand literally no chance. Really? And he's defeating them like they're nothing. He might actually be a problem. Okay! Hello! You're- Jesus Christ. Damn! He just- Why do you only attack Claire? Jesus! Did he just kill her? Oh, well, Claire climbed back up quickly. <laughs> oh! She is missing a lot of her body. Yeah, she's missing a lot of her body, though. So she can hear, heal, can't she? I knew- Oh my god! <laughs> That's not- <laughs> That is not what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, well, of course the one place she happens to be bleeding is from her mouth. So, I think, I think, I think my theory was right. That she was the previous Vampire Queen. Right? Or were they calling her Blood Queen? No, they were calling her Vampire Queen, right? Sorry. There's so many details happening in this episode that... Um, I'm mixing a lot of them up, but I think my my theory was right. I think she is a, she's dead. Well, obviously she's a, she's a vampire, and I think she was also a um, she was the previous vampire queen who, for whatever reason, stepped down. I don't know why, and I don't know why she's going up here to kill the current vampire queen. But that makes Beta's statement earlier make sense. Don't you want to go back to Haven? Is in referring to don't you want to go back to being the queen again? That's what she was referring to. Okay. I think I, I think I'm piecing it together here. Wasn't expecting them to kiss mid-fight though. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, <laughs> God damn it! That was not like spit or anything that came out of that kiss. That was just straight up blood. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah. Um, she. Oh, she regenerate. That's sick as. She just regenerated her clothes like it was nothing. Hell yeah! Let me get that ability. <laughs> it's no problem for this guy. And so he has, like, magic power, too? Oh, my God. Oh, hello. I knew it. <laughs> oh, my God. 
god, that is so sick. That's too sick. I probably just destroyed my mic's volume. I am so sorry, but oh my god, that was so sick for no reason. He literally showed up, like, time basically seemed to stop. This guy moved so fast and got there, and Sid just appears and literally lands on his sword. Oh my god, it's just, it's too sick. It's so over the top, but it's so cool. Oh, <laughs> and sent him flying. Oh, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I know it's coming, I know it's coming, I know it's coming. I know what he's about to say. Sid, please. <laughs> I know what he's about to say. I, oh. Oh, the frenzy has begun. <laughs> I don't know if he's just casually doing that in front of his sister. He just... Uh, wait, how does this girl not realize that he's repeating her lines? How does she not realize that? Mary, you said these exact lines to him. Is maybe she gonna make the connection that him and Sid are the same person? That's a possibility. Oh, that is ominous. Interesting how he dropped in to save Claire. Interesting. I find that very intriguing because I said earlier, I was like, I don't think he would care if Claire died. But I... At the same time, maybe I'm a little wrong. Sid is so Chinibio that it's really hard to tell how he actually feels. And he even said himself that he hates talking about things that he likes to people. He just doesn't do that. It's not something he does. And so I was thinking, like, with how he is in this world and how he treats it, that he wouldn't care about a person. But maybe I'm wrong. Just... Just maybe I'm wrong. It's a very, very hard maybe because I don't, this is not enough evidence to prove literally anything that he has like any sort of feelings sounds weird when I'm, re when I'm referring to his sister, but like if he cares about her at all, I guess. But th yeah, like I said, this is not enough evidence to prove that, but it, it's maybe, maybe a little bit. <laughs> oh God, that's real awkward between these two. So that's it's actually not fine at all. A vampire. Yeah, those eyes, you could tell pretty easily. Is it gonna be revealed? Oh, it's the Blood Queen. I, like I said, I've been calling her Vampire Queen all episode. God, I'm getting names and titles mixed up so much this episode. Anyway, the Blood Queen. Let's see if my theory was correct. It could be, I could be totally off base, but we'll see. That's a lot of dead people. Oh my god, just a pool of dead humans. That is wild. Wow, that's crazy. That's so funny that this this world before Sid got here a thousand years ago went through an era of killing, of learning how to kill vampires. That's that's funny because that's how a lot of um, vampire stories go as they're set in like older times. So people like figure out there's vampires and they've got to use the wooden stick and burn them outside. So that's very interesting that like this world had its own vampire like era a long time ago. My lady. So maybe she's not... Okay, so maybe she's not the queen but was one of the queen's helpers? Maybe? Something along those lines? Okay, I'm gonna quit talking because we're gonna find out what happened here. I'm just... I'm, I, anyway, I have no reason to keep talking because we're literally just about to find it out. Did you gain the ability to be in the sun? Ah, okay. Is that her right there on the side in the maid outfit? Because she said, she said my lady, so she made it sound like she was her servant or something to that, something to that beat. Oh, did she? Oh, God. She tried to keep peace either way. That's crazy. The lawless city looked so different so long ago. Like, if you go back that thousand years... Well, actually, it looks identical. Well, this is a long time ago. This is a thousand years ago. But back then, the lawless city didn't look so lawless. It looked like it was like a metropolis-type city. Like, a very, very large and successful city. So, I, I wonder if this event right here is what turned it into the lawless city in the first place. Oh, Jesus. A single drop, did it drive her crazy? Oh, God. Three kingdoms. So she went crazy after getting a single drop of blood. Oh, my God. That This is wild. Jesus Christ, this story's crazy. 
So you didn't burn her? Oh no! Oh god! Okay, I see. I see what's happening now, and I see why she survived this one thousand years. Now she actually wants to kill the queen. Now she actually wants to fulfill that wish and kill the queen before she's revived and goes on a total rampage. Although somehow I feel like she might end up getting revived anyway. I feel like if anything were to happen, she would get revived and have a fi big fight with Sid or something like that. Yep, yeah, then they killed her. Ah. So he spared her because she stayed by her to guard her. Oh my god, she's just bones now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's an artifact. We've seen that before, right? That artifact. We've seen that before. It's keeping her heart alive. Where have we seen... I remember seeing that artifact last season, right? We've seen that before, right? I forget... Ah, uh, I hate that. I forget exactly what it did. But we saw that artifact last season as well. Interesting. Oh, what the hell? That's actually... Man, that makes... Man, what the hell? That makes her constantly trying to drag him out and drag him places and, like, find him and go take him to events. Like, way sadder. Like, that makes it way sadder because she thinks one day she's going to turn into a monster, so she wants to do all she can with him before that happens. Obviously, she doesn't know that Sid has the power to unmonster her, but that's really sad. That's genuinely really sad. That's, oh, that's so interesting. So, the, was the possessed thing not revealed until now? I feel like the reason they kidnapped her in the last season was because she was possessed. That's why they kidnapped her, right? Am I wrong about that? Did they kidnap her for some other reason? I feel like the main reason they kidnapped her in the first place was because she was possessed. So I feel like that got revealed last season, but like, I'm not sure if it was explicitly stated? I really don't know. You guys, you guys are gonna have to remind me on that one. Little does she know, it's not Sid that's being sacrificed. Yeah, the lawless city has been kind of just destroyed. If you go look at that frame right there. that This, this place looks totally different than it did a thousand years ago. It looks destroyed. Like, it looks totally destroyed. <gasps> no way! Wait, what? They actually killed him? No way! I didn't think they- Why is that the most painful death we've experienced so far in this series? Dude, I actually liked him. His comedic relief was funny. Or can you like, unghoul? Once the moon's over or something, do you turn back into a person? I kind of doubt it. Damn, that sucks. What the- he, They gave him such a like, comedic ending last episode too, where he like, turned around and like, he just screamed boobs because there was like, someone running in his face. Man, what the hell? You really think the queen could be... Interesting. You really don't think she's gonna go attack everybody? Well... Now we've got quite the partnership here. What did she just say? I will do that myself with panache? So mind your own business, okay? <laughs> what? what is panache? Hang on, now I gotta look this up. Oh. That's such a weird word to use for that. Oh my god, I just realized I look like I'm in heaven right now. Jesus Christ, the lighting is... <laughs> Anyway, it just means like, it means like to confidently do something. But like saying with, that's such a strange word to say that with. Okay, the brother complex is uh, showing its head a little bit here. I will do that myself with panache. Never heard that word in my life. <laughs> oh, this show, this show is so self-aware that it just, it's amazing. The self-awareness is what makes it so damn good. And just the way the music cut out was too perfect. Oh, hello. Shadow's here. Oh my god. Now you're never gonna run out of money. <laughs> okay. Well, there goes my... Th okay, well. Completely just take my theory of Sid possibly caring for Claire and toss it out the window. Because that, evidently from that statement, it could not be further from the truth. <laughs> Pan Go. Oh my god, somebody in this world is ripping off Van Gogh, god damn it. So what exactly do you want here? This is the world we live in. <laughs> How bad my slime with coins. I plan to live at least <laughs> This dude! 
So now he's gonna arrive fashionably early. Ah. <laughs> So he's now, instead of going for the show up fashionably late to the fight trope, he's going for the be there before anybody else so everybody else has to watch your sick fight happening. <laughs> um, who is this? This isn't Sid. So she's, he, he's putting it into this guy's body. Whoa! Wait. Oh, what? Oh. What? What? Oh. That was. <laughs> that was. That was the fastest atomic of all time. That was the split second atomic. What in the world was that? I didn't. It was like the silent atomic or something like that. Just totally dead quiet, and he pulled in an atomic. What in the world? <laughs> Still repeating the same thing. <laughs> oh my god, this was such an absurd episode. Oh, that was fun though. That was a lot of fun. Is this how the arc's gonna end? Are we serious? Like, is the arc actually gonna end like this? There's no way the arc ends like this, right? After two episodes? I feel like even though Sid did the atomic, he might kill the king, but, or whoever this guy is, I'm not sure if he's the king or not, but he'll probably kill him, but I think he's gonna have to have a fight against the queen. This was unbelievably goofy. Unbelievably goofy the way this finished, the way he just got up there and hit the I am atomic instantly and blew the entire place up. This is a great episode though. I think I got most of my thoughts out in the actual episode, so I don't think I have much to discuss here at the end. I've been reacting for like 45 minutes now, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. Actually, I guess I'll talk about how I was totally wrong on the Claire, or the Sid actually caring about Claire scenario, because that was such a fumble. I just, I like, that's why I said it was a, that's why I said it was maybe a very slim chance that he might have cared, because like, knowing Sid, I doubt he cared all that much. And, um, I would, that sentiment was proven correct. Um, anyway, I think that's gonna wrap it up for my reaction to The Eminence and Shadow, Season 2, Episode 2. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you all have a good day.